Peace. Wow, that sounds great, Brandon. Now let's take a quick break. We're going to be back with more of Brandon. Martin. What's up, kiddos? Welcome back to episode 48 of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. In the last episode, I didn't actually check what I was talking about, so we'll just move along with that. Um, in this episode, I'm going to go do Jerry's mission. This is actually a long mission, so it's a uh, phone buzzing. It's going to be probably one episode, one video. Um, Bernie, what do you want? What's up, Bernie? Oh, I had this conversation last time. I remember that. No, but seriously, don't mention it because it's not my car to give away. Um, yeah, I think that's interesting. Uh, it's one of those phenomenons that's... Jeez, us. Stand up, Nico. What are you doing? Uh, one of those phenomenons, I guess, that's getting bigger and bigger recently. Uh, Uber cabs, which... I, I, I understand the, the allure of it. I live somewhere that... Okay, I was like, did he... Does he see me? No, don't do six axes. Alright, um... I've... I live in an area that doesn't have a lot of cabs. Like, you have to get the specialized taxi service. You have to actually, you know, call a company, um... And have them bring someone out. It's, it's very expensive. It's not worth it at all. Why don't I have a waypoint on? I'm going the right way, though, so... Put that there. And, uh... You know, it's it's... I have never taken a cab where I live. I, I have no reason to. I have a car, and it's just how people get around here. Um, but for people who do want to go places and don't have to, you know, want to worry about parking, or whatever, Uber is a nifty idea. I, I think that's it's it's actually really cool. You know, you call someone, they they're there, and they drive you around. But I think it's one of those things that just I I would never use it. Um, I would never get in somebody's Uber if they were using it. I just don't feel like that's something I'd want to do. Um, partially because. I'm real picky about who drives me places, um, so I guess that's where the cab driver, but uh, I don't know, it just, it just seems kind of... Good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Um, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? Oh, I guess not. Thanks. In fact, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex boyfriend of your girl is gonna agree to divorce her. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap was going on. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Where you at? Look at me. Yeah. So we're finally catching up with, uh, Cab, cab, I need a cab. Halt. Nico, me and Gracie's waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like that's up. That's yeah, we're skipping that. We're just going to meet him now. Very important conversation. Um, we are catching up with episodes. This is episode 48, and just now it's March 22nd. I uploaded episode 41. So we're just about catching up. I had a huge backlog of these, so there was a period where I just like wasn't even recording anything because it wasn't necessary. Um, so luckily we are catching up with that. In the last episode that I, rec when I recorded this before, I jumped over this, so I'll jump over it again. Why? Why not? It's a real question. Hop in the car. Damn, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. You jumped in front of me, bro. You jumped in front of me. I need to get rid of the wine a little so they have a conversation. Here we go. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, 
Ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> Change this channel. See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the both of you. Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Ooh, got some hair on that one. Those, those are basketball courts behind us, actually. I remember that area. Boink. Okay, okay, we're living, we're living, we're living. So this is the ultimate final mission for uh, the Gracie side arc, if you will, the story arc. Uh, we've stolen her car, we've stolen her, and now it's time to get our ransom back in the form of some diamonds. Uh, we will be meeting some characters that we're familiar with. If you are familiar with this game, if you're familiar with this trilogy, rather. Um, hopefully we'll meet them, because last time the video cut out before we did. There's also something about the cutscene I wanted to point out, so I will... I'll talk over a part of uh, the cutscene. Screw your tolls. I don't have time for this. I think there's a grenade. Yeah, there's grenades on the ground right there. Pick those up. You weren't here before. Okay, so we are still recording. That's like all I can talk about right now because I I was so angry. I finished this mission. It's like I said, it's a relatively long mission. We're already six minutes in, haven't you know even started the mission. Um, whereas you know last episode was eight minutes and that was one whole mission and uh, driving there included. Blue Bear nightmare. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, someone on the radio, right when I had started this episode, the guy's name was Brandon. I thought that was pretty cool. It's one of those names that, like, I, I hear a lot, but then I don't hear a lot. Um, I actually have a very generic full name, and uh, it's interesting because it's happened to me before where I've, I've played basketball with kids with my same first and last name. I've played, uh, I, I've actually worked places, and the wrong person with my name has gotten paid. So that's almost almost comical they were like no you, no we paid you it was, i was working a summer job one time and they're like no we paid you I was like no you didn't i don't live there um that's not me i know that guy because <laughs> he has my name but uh that's not me anyway gracie you all right didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animal. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. All you. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, you send over the girl. We leave. And you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Cabele. How is it? That one of us something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamond. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Alright, so check how uh, Packy and Nico run behind the car. That animation, I think, uh, I have no real insight into this. If you're familiar with Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the introduction to that game, um, you will see Tommy Versetti and two unnamed 
Mexican cartel members from Liberty City, I guess. Uh, they're doing a drug deal, Ken Rosenberg's in the car, with, uh, what's his face? To, what's his name? Uh, Vic, Victor and Lance Vance, Lance Vance Dance. And, uh, the way that they escape, the way they run, like, behind the thing when they get shot on by the unnamed gangsters, uh, it's kind of reminiscent of that animation. I think that's kind of cool. I don't think that's, it, I mean, it might be a thing. It might be a thing. I'll have to look into it. I'll check the wiki after this, see if that's actually a, uh, like a real reference, or if it's just, you know, my speculation. What are you doing, Packy? And body armor for your troubles. Oh, you. Okay. And you. Optical zoom. Enhance. Where? I can't see them. Oh, behind us. I don't think you can blow. Shut up, Patty. I know how to shoot. And I have cheat codes. You don't. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Mash, mash, mash. I'm trying to get through this so quickly because we still have a drive back home after all this is said and done. It reminds me of like a Sonic game or something. Oh, and the camera pans to let you know people are showing up. But they are no match for a rocket! Why is that package is so bad? And one more. Lack of commentary is phenomenal. Boom. No, you're following me, bro. Uh, where are we going? Actually, are we going that way? <laughs> Maybe I should be following you. And here we are. I really want to skip this because I don't know if this will last. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way! If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them! I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later! I don't nobody having them! Screw all That was a perfectly timed truck. I wonder if he was in cahoots give with the person the driving the truck. That's something uh, I was actually thinking of recently. Okay, that fade out was weird. Um, the insults in this game and like the things people call each other. I honestly think that the funniest one of all, um, <laughs> the funniest one of all was probably when uh, Joe Tuna, just, just, no, here's what we do. Screw the ladder, fall down. Take a little fall damage, you're good. Uh, I think Joe Tuna, in that garbage episode, garbage man mission, he calls Nico a cabbage eating prick, and I'm like, that is honestly the funniest thing. It's such a specific, such specific diss. Oh, bro, I can't get in the car that way. Because of course they don't spawn us a vehicle, so we're gonna take this. I should have spawned the annihilator and just, you know what? Screw it, we're gonna take the annihilator. I can't get in there. There we go. This is definitely not going to work. I just want to get in there. Can you get in there? Come over here. Come over here. There we go. I was hoping this would save some time, and it hasn't saved time at all. Oh, that's all. Is that sunset? Sunset. Nice. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation, but that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian. Oh, where am I going? I work for him. It's taking a ride, taking a ride. Bring her around town. And they were his diamonds. I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes I think there's actually some resolution. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Get up, get up. We was out numbers, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach you. I'm running after you. I'm running after you. Packy, you turd, just hurry up. Right behind me? Alright, come on. Let's hop this fence. Follow me. Packy? Packy, you idiot! I'm sorry, I just like stopped talking because I'm trying to figure out wh where did you. Come on, Packy! Are you stupid? Are you stupid, boy? What is going on? I just want to end this episode. I just want to end it. That's all. I just want to end it. I had things to talk about, and I just want to end it. I'm done. Come on, Packy. Come on, Patrick. Don't get hit. Why are you getting hit? You idiot. Just come across the street, get on the sidewalk. Uh, they did mention just now how Gerald's able to make moves in the jail, and I don't understand how he does that. Um, I understand people can do that type of stuff in real life, but the fact that he, in the mission intro, he actually said to Nico, uh, do you want me to spell it out for you? He's like, no. Packy will tell you more. I'm like, well, how did Packy know? I understand they're brothers, but he really is not privy to any more information than Nico. Well, Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Packy. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. And you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Gerald gets a lot of visiting days. But that is gonna be it. A little twang of the ending screen. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we will probably hit up Ger Gravelli, John Gravelli, John Gambetti Gravelli, and probably go pick up that car from Brucey, uh, Bernie. Bernie. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.